Israeli warplanes dropped flares over the Beirut sky on Thursday, shortly before breaking the sound barrier, at the same time Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was delivering a televised speech from an undisclosed location. The planes flew low over Beirut, breaking the sound barrier with two loud booms, scattered birds and prompted people in homes and offices to quickly open windows to prevent them from shattering. Nasrallah said the mass bombing attack against Hezbollah using its communications devices was a severe blow and said Israel had crossed a red line. But he vowed the group would emerge stronger and continue its daily strikes into northern Israel. As he was making his speech, Hezbollah and the Israeli military traded new strikes over the border. Fears are rising that 11 months of exchanges of fire between the two sides will escalate into all-out war, particularly after this week's unprecedented bombings, which detonated hundreds of pagers and walkie-talkies used by Hezbollah. At least 37 people were killed and some 3,000 wounded in the explosions, which appeared to be the culmination of a months-long operation by Israel to target as many Hezbollah members as possible all at once, but which also hit civilians. The attack came as Israeli leaders have warned that they could launch a stepped-up military operation against Hezbollah, saying they are determined to stop the group's fire to allow tens of thousands of Israelis to return to homes near the border. Lebanon's health ministry said on Wednesday at least nine people were killed and over 300 were wounded on Wednesday as electronic devices exploded in multiple regions of country. The blasts happened a day after an apparent attack targeting pagers used by Hezbollah killed at least 12 and wounded nearly 3,000. On a busy street in the southern city of Sidon, dozens of people and first responders gathered by a cell phone shop that caught fire after an explosion. Several ambulances were also present but it was unclear if there are any casualties. Multiple explosions went off on Wednesday at the site of a funeral for three Hezbollah members and a child killed by exploding pagers the day before, according to Associated Press journalists at the scene. Hezbollah's Al Mana TV reported explosions in multiple areas of Lebanon, and a Hezbollah official told the Associated Press that walkie-talkies used by the group exploded as part of blasts heard in Beirut. The official spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak to the media. There was no immediate detail on casualties. The new blasts happened with Lebanon still thrown into confusion and anger after the Tuesday's pager bombings, which appeared to target Hezbollah members. At least 12 people were killed, including two children, and some 2,800 people wounded as hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah members began detonating in several parts of Lebanon and in Syria.
يا جماعة الخير بطارية الليثيوم فجرت بقلب الرباد